Now let's go ahead and try lesson six. And lesson six, again, just going to add just a little bit of a twist, but I think we'll be okay. Lesson six, we introduce, we are introduced to parentheses. The easiest way to explain parentheses in this equation, okay, is what they're saying is I have an x plus three, so I go get an x, and I go get a three. There's my x plus three, but I need to have two sets of x plus three two times x plus three. I need to see x plus three twice. So there is another x plus three, and I put all of that up on my board. So now I have two x plus three twice. So I have two x's plus actually six, two x plus six. And on the other side, I have an x and an eight. And now, once we get the setup, we just solve like we always do. Let's get rid of our blue pawn once here and one here. So I'm subtracting one x from both sides. And now I'm going to subtract, I have six over here, three plus three, and I have eight over here. I can subtract six from both sides of my equations. And that leaves me with eight minus six is two. That leaves me with one x equals two. And now we go and check our work. I plug in a 2 here and a 2 here. And now I use order of operations. I use PEMDAS. 2 plus 3 is 5, and 5 times 2 is 10. And 2 plus 8 is 10. Whoa! Sorry about that. And I have 10. Check 10. Okay, so that's all the, the, uh, the only new thing here is our parentheses. Let's try one more example, and then we'll let you guys get started here. So we got an example that is 2 times 2x plus 1. So I need 2x plus 1 two times. 2 times 2x plus 1. Let's go get our other 2x. Whoop, I don't know why that went up there. There we go. Uh, and another one. So there's my 2 times 2x plus 1 equals 18. Alright, now the fun begins. I have no pawns to take away. That means I only have 4 over here. I don't have any pawns over here, so I can only take away my numbers. I have these two, so I subtract 2 from this side, and I subtract 2 from this side. 18 minus 2 is 16. So now, take a look what I'm left with. 4x equals 16. When you are at this point in your problem, remember what that number is called. That number is called the coefficient, and I simply divide both sides of my problem by my coefficient. So 4x divided by 4, 16 divided by 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1, 1 times x is x equals 16 divided by 4 is 4. Correct answer is x equals 4. Let's look at our check then. 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, and 9, that's my answer in my parentheses, times 2 is 18. Check, 18. I can't emphasize that enough, you guys. You got to make sure you go and check your answers. Make sure the left side equals the right side. All right, you guys have a great day, and uh, we will talk to you later.